Thank you to EarthBreeze for sponsoring today's video. Welcome back to what is going to be a little roller coaster of emotions thrift haul. I went to Goodwill and I missed something relatively big on screen. And then I missed something that I didn't record that was also relatively big. I surveyed my Instagram folks to say, should I pick this item up or not? The part that I did get on record, it was really split down the middle 50-50 whether or not I should have picked it up or left it behind. It turns out I probably should have picked it up. I'm going to send you back in time. We are going to go thrifting at Goodwill. I get so upset that I missed it. And you're going to be like, it wasn't that big of a deal. But I ended up going back again yesterday. Two separate hauls, one goodwill. I want to know from you which haul you think is better from which day. So we're going to go to goodwill outside of Boston and then I'll see you back here in a little bit. I haven't been to this goodwill in a while so I was excited to see what I could find. They have belts and bags right at the front and I spotted this belt. Turns out to be an anthropology belt although it did not have any tags. Um, but when I looked up the RN, it was a good find. This is what looks to be a blogger's favorite Zara kimono. People have this listed for over $100. It's a really good find. It's in great condition. They end up charging me just $4 for it. They charge me the price of a robe. These are some Lululemon leggings that are priced at $10. I decided to grab those for myself because they are my size. There's also this sports bra that I will either list or give to my daughter. It seems like a more current style. So that goes in the cart. That did cost $7.99 as well. These are some items that I think I must end up putting back. There's a little elevator in here. It's usually my thinking time. So this is two levels. Downstairs is where they have the hard goods. In the men's department, I pass on this Vineyard Vines sweater. Um, these are the controversial pants. These are aloe sweatpants. I find these. They have this stain on the leg and I'm debating whether or not to get them. There's also a lot of wear between the legs. I'm really trying to not take home any projects so I leave them behind. These are some Madewell tie-dyes. Tie-dye something I'm leaving behind. I also leave those behind. So I'm looking through the sweatpants now, really hemming and hawing over those aloe sweatpants which I ultimately do leave behind. This is in the hard goods section. I collect fountain pens and I'm really into stationery so I always check out the stationery section on this particular day I did not pick anything up but it's always worth looking at what they have to offer this is a cool shirt that I decide to leave behind and when I go back the second day it's still there so I kind of felt good about leaving it behind just looks like it's got a little bit of wash wear this is a style of Madewell that I pick up sometimes I think they're the road tripper um the cur curvy road tripper, but these had some staining on the knee. So I decided to leave that behind. I could have tried to get the stain out, but some of my Madewell takes a while to move. Um, Beta Brand is another brand that I rarely pick up. All right, I didn't do too bad with the men's stuff. Found a couple things. I'm on a meter, so I have about a half an hour to shop, see what else we can find. This is a sweater that I find in the kids department. It is L.L. Bean and it looks to be in really nice condition. So I pick that up. Just a classic style um, in that cable knit Irish look, but it's cotton. It's not itchy, so I really like that. One of the things I'm leaving behind typically now, unless they're really high end, are shoes that don't have the insoles. These are $10 and they're all birds. They're in really great condition. Maybe a style I would consider, although Allbirds is a very sleepy brand for me, but I left those behind. Wondering if I should have grabbed this Garnet Hill. It's this velvet. It's new without tag. It's a size 16. I don't know. I just decided to leave it behind. This, on the other hand, I am so glad I grabbed. Frank and Eileen is a great brand. I knew it was good, but I had no idea what this retailed for or what the comps were. So stay tuned till the end to see how that goes. These are some public rec pants, also a fun brand that I like to pick up. These are some Doc Martens missing the insole, $10. And I don't know, they just looked pretty beat up, so I left them. I know now that those sweatpants are called the Accolade sweatpants and they are like the hottest things and I had no idea. I did know that aloe is having a bit of a resurgence. Aloe has been around for a long time. When I first discovered the brand, I think they were known very much for their goddess leggings, which almost looked like a built-in leg warmer. From the knee down would be one color and lots of ruching 
in the calf area down to the ankle and then the top part of the legging would be a different color. I got to the point where I couldn't give those leggings away. So I stopped picking them up in large part unless I got them for a really, really great deal and I didn't expect to get too much for them. Now, aloe is booming and especially with this accolade line. Also, what I learned from my DMs from people saying, pick those sweatpants up. The silver, the metallic -y silver logo is also a sign that that is an aloe piece that's in high demand. So I put that poll out on Instagram and then I failed to go back and look to see what anybody was responding to. I say this all the time when I'm filming, I am not the best thrifter. It's not really an excuse. I have been feeling a little out of touch lately, which is why I decided to do the trend videos like pieces I'm not picking up. Uh, my next video will be trends that I am picking up, brands that I'm leaving behind Behind, brands that I'm picking up. I think it's really important for resellers to stay on top of fashion trends. I'm not saying that my age is a factor, but I think my age is a factor. A lot of the people who DM'd me were from a younger generation. Keegan, I'm looking at you. Nick from NCI Resale. My daughter was like, mom, pick those up. I really think this is something that a lot of the people in maybe the 30 and under crowd would have been a no brainer for. But I'm sitting here looking at items thinking, I don't wanna take home things that are going to be a lot of work. Aloe has been kind of a sleepy brand for me. Just because one item from a brand like, for example, the goddess leggings is not the hottest thing right now it doesn't necessarily mean that the brand is not good I think a lot of us have seen this with lululemon for example tank tops don't sell great for lululemon but aligned leggings might do a little bit better wide leg pants from lululemon are doing much better than the traditional leggings generally speaking so I do think we have to educate ourselves as resellers I will probably continue to sell the stuff that sells in my wheelhouse a lot of free people still sell for me. I still like the boho style stuff, but I'm leaning a little bit more towards cleaner lines, classic, quiet luxury stuff, but there's always new stuff to look out for. So I don't want to beat a dead horse, but that's the point I'm trying to get at. And I missed those, but I did go back the next day. We'll show that haul. We'll see what I picked up. Let's get into this haul from this particular day and the things that I did grab. The first thing I grabbed when I walked through the door was a little bit of a style-based pickup. I have a Gucci bag that looks so similar to this that I bought in Italy. The leather is a little bit different, but it's just a basic leather clutch, almost identical size. This is really gorgeous. The brand is Botkier, Botkier? I think it's B-O-T-K-I-E-R. But this is a leather clutch. This was $4.99. Be really easy to photograph. It has a pocket here in the back. I just think it is a timeless, gorgeous, leather piece. I love this little flap right here. So cool. So I grabbed that right away. Right when you walk into the store, they have um, handbags and scarves. I got 11 items and I spent $64. So not bad. There was also a belt right when I walked in that I really loved that I'm sure I showed. Oh, it's right here. I thought this was so incredible. This does not have a brand tag on it, but it does have this tag that shows that it is genuine leather and then some fabric. Look at how beautiful this belt is. I just thought that this could really add so much to any outfit if you have like a, a dress or a larger size blouse. Isn't that just gorgeous? And then the leather straps over here. I should probably do a Google Lens photo of this and I bet the brand will pop up. I thought this was gorgeous. It was $3.99. So I picked that up. I almost didn't get this Free People sweater because it's bright orange. I don't sell a lot of orange. It was just really in beautiful, beautiful condition. It was a larger size and I found some comps for $38 on this sweater. It's a V-neck style. I could even try this on and wear it with like denim. It feels a little pumpkin-y if you think of it in terms of black. If you paired it with like some white straight leg jeans or just regular denim, it could be a really cute spring sweater. It does feel a little bit warm, like there might be some wool in here. It doesn't feel picky. I feel like there might be a wool blend involved and I don't have my glasses on so I can't read it to you. This is an intimately free sweater. I believe this is a large, extra large. This is from the Free People line. The sweaters are $5.49, so I grabbed it. Blue was the color that was 50% off on this day. Didn't pick up much blue, if any, at all. This was just a classic Nike swoosh sweatshirt that I picked up. Funny enough, I don't know if it was before or after I read this comment, but somebody in the comments of my last video said that like Nike swoosh sweatshirts is having a moment. Again, I'm not aware, but Nike is a classic brand. Um, I like this cropped style. 
oversized, even though it's cropped. Really a great piece to throw on after the gym. Not that I would know what that feeling is like <laughs> these days, but I really think that that is a cute sweatshirt. This is a Zara kimono. They charge me, I believe, for a robe. It's a Zara basic in a size medium, and it's really beautiful. This was the incoming color. Green was the new color. I thought this was gorgeous. Very important to me on this particular piece that it did have the belt, which this did. Kind of gathers a little bit here on the sleeve. Really beautiful details, and I love the colors. I love how they combine maroon with this like pretty blue, almost like a seafoam blue. I wouldn't expect those colors together. And then the center of the flower with the yellow and orange, real beautiful mix of color. And I love the pattern on that. I love the black trim because of course, I can envision that with some black pants. It would look really nice. I'm proud of myself for not going too overboard. 11 items is not a lot, I didn't think, so I was proud, but I did go back the next day. Uh, the other two things that I missed, and I'm not sure, I haven't reviewed the footage from in-store. There were two Ghani, G-A-N-N-I blouses, all black. I literally had a moment where I just, my brain left my body. Ghani is an incredible brand. It can sit for a while. The most recent Ghani piece that I sold was a pink denim jacket that was worn on the actress of Emily in Paris. It was kind of like a bell sleeve denim jacket, cropped, really great piece. Ironically, I bought it at the same store. It sat for a bit because I had it priced high because there was like the celebrity piece. There was a photo that I found of the actress wearing the jacket. It ended up selling, I wanna say around 125, but it was Ghani and I was very excited. There were two new with tag. Ghani blouses, just all black. They weren't like the greatest pieces ever, but they were Ghani and they were new with tag. So there is another brand out there either called Gilly or Gil, G-I-L-L. -L. I know Gilly Hicks, that's not what I was thinking of, but there's another brand that has a similar ring to it. For whatever reason, when I was looking at the blouses, I was like, is this, is this the good brand or is this the brand that's not a designer brand? And I literally just passed right over them. I was watching somebody's Instagram stories later that night and they posted about a Ghani t-shirt that they got that they found in the kids department. And I was like, oh my gosh, I passed on designer Ghani. So between the aloe sweatpants, missing those and everybody DMing me about it, like you should buy those. And then just me knowing that I passed on two Ghani blouses, I'm like, Lori, you are off your game. I really feel like I need to just put my head down and study fashion trends, which is why I'm happy about these upcoming videos. But those were the other, those were the other two pieces that I forgot. That's why I went back to Goodwill. But I did get this beat up North Face sweatshirt, but I passed on the new with tag Ghani. Oh my gosh, I did think this was cute. I think this will sell. I've never seen a North Face sweatshirt with a graphic like this. I think it'll be great. I got it in the department probably price that at $38 we'll see how it does that would even do well I think at a whatnot show oh I was really excited about these these were one of the best things I found this is the brand public rec this is a brand that I really enjoy picking up I have found this a couple times these would probably sell for like 40 to 45 dollars these are navy blue I believe they're men's style they're a jogger they have a little zip here really high quality let me know if you have luck with public rec that was a good pickup, I thought. I feel like I gotta hurry a little bit. I have to bring Lumpy to the groomers. Oh, I did pick up these Lululemon. These were $9.99. They're a size 10. I think I'm gonna keep these for myself. I am not a size 10, but in high-waisted Lululemon, sometimes I can go down to a size 10. These look really good, and the reason I love them so much is because they have a pocket on each hip. The Lululemon tag was in really great condition. There was no wear in between the legs or anything. I pass on a lot of Lululemon now. I thought these were a winner. Oh, there's actually the style number around the 10 so if I discover that before I post this video, I will put it up on the screen for you. These are either gonna be mine or I think they're gonna be a good sale because they're a size 10. This I thought was a good pickup too. Frank and Eileen is a higher end brand. This was new with tag. It's like a lightweight denim shirt. I believe one of the spring trends that I heard about, I was watching my friend Laura Von V's spring trend video. You guys have to see that, it's a great video. And I believe she said denim on denim is really in, like the Canadian tuxedo they call it. So this is a style shirt that I had kind of left behind for a while. But given the fact that this was new with tag, it was Frank and Eileen, a very high end brand and 
the fact that this seems to be on trend for this season, I decided to go for it. Because this is new with tag, I expect to get about $50 editing Lori jumping in here this shirt is on the Nordstrom website as well as the Frank and Eileen website for $278 so I definitely expect more than $50 for this return and if you look at the sold comps they are all well above 100 especially in the new with tag category so feeling really great about that pickup Frank and Eileen stuff is pretty expensive. I need to look more closely at comps. I just really wanted to film this video for you. This is a Lululemon sports bra that I think I'm gonna put in the Angie's Easter basket. She teaches fitness, so she needs a lot of workout gear, and I thought it was pretty. They charged me $7.99 for the sports bra Lululemon, and the pants were $9.99. So they do mark things up, but I find this store, this particular Goodwill, is pretty fair. You generally get the stuff for the base price, which is $5.49 for sweaters, $7.99 for dresses that are casual, $14.99 for formal dresses. Shoes can be a little bit pricey, but they always have a 50% off color. And then the stuff that they do mark up, they don't really price gouge at this particular Goodwill, so I went for it. This was $5. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little bit less, to be honest, because it was a kid's sweater. L.L. Bean, because the adult sweaters are $5.49, so I just assumed kids would be like $3.99. I paid $4.99. Um, I love this. It's 100% cotton sweater. I don't like to buy the wool Irish knit for kids, but I feel like so many people do like photo shoots in this style sweater, at least around here in New England, and I thought this was really pretty. It's a size 10-12 and it was $5, I'll probably list it for 35 or 32. Um, it's just cute. I, I'm a sucker for a nice Irish knit sweater, and I'm also a sucker for L.L. Bean, so I grabbed it. So that is all for today's haul. I love the Zara kimono. The public rec pants are pretty cool. The Frank and Eileen new with tag is nice, but I did pass on Ghani and those Alice sweatpants. I had a couple people actually DM me and say, I'll buy those off of you if you pick them up. Like People are crazy over these Accolade sweatpants. Let me know in the comments if you knew about Accolade sweatpants and if you didn't now you know don't pass up on those sweatpants if you see them out in the wild apparently even if they have a stain on them so I woke up the next morning I was making pizzelle cookies with my girlfriend Tabitha it's a tradition we've been doing for years we typically make the cookies here at my house I had stuff going on at my house so I asked Tabitha if we could do it at her house and she said let's do it at two o'clock I was anticipating doing it in the morning when she said two o'clock I was like I am going back to that goodwill I'm going to find those sweatpants find those Ghani blouses and redeem myself so I went back so a little footage from that and then I'll show you what I got do you think I found them let me know what you think before you move on okay friends I am back after all of the conversation on Instagram that I failed to look at I came back to see if those aloe sweatpants are here also separately I'm embarrassed to even admit this I passed on two Ghani blouses I saw Ghani on somebody else's story and for some reason I had it mixed up with another brand I'm so upset with myself two new with tag black blouses we're gonna go back in it's 1040 they opened at 10 see what we can do all right let's try this again so this day started with a bang, Brunello Cuccinelli. I have never found it. First thing I found when I walked in, there was a new rack and an All Saints button down shirt that was marked up a little bit. Also, Quince, new with tag. These were all on the same rack. I couldn't believe it. Grabbed those and I headed downstairs to where the sweatpants were located. Here's the same cool shirt that I passed on yesterday. Uh, this is a really pretty cloth and stone top, but I don't really pick that up brand up anymore. Maybe at the bins. This is a Patagonia. You can see the wash wear from here. It's just really beat up, so I left that behind. On my way over to check out the sweatpants, I found this collab. I think it's H&M and Pringle of Scotland. I've done really well with a Pringle sweater before, but I looked at the comps and the they just weren't there this is a newer tag athleta top that i pick up um, here is another one of the same style all saints button down but it's white i don't know looking at it now it looks okay but i left it behind i felt like it was a little worn okay this is where the sweatpants pants were i got really excited i saw those cream colored ones but they were just a generic pair and again the tie-dye madewells that i left behind yesterday now i go upstairs this 
I don't know if you recognize this label, but it's Double D Ranch. I did a Google search and discovered the brand. There is a stain on it. I picked it up anyways. That has been on my bucket list for so long. Um, so as you can see, we're going through. I did not find Bagani blouses. I went through the entire section of black blouses. I did find this beautiful poncho with some great comps from Anthropology. I'm feeling pretty good. Clearly, I went back and none of the stuff that I was looking for was there were there. The two Ghani blouses gone. The sweatpants, I went downstairs. I thought that maybe I saw them, but as you saw, they were just like a generic brand. But I would argue that this trip was even better than what I would have gotten if all of those things were there. Being somebody who thrifts for a living, I'm constantly challenged with how to remove stains and how to keep my clothes smelling fresh and clean. And that's why I'm so happy to have partnered with Earth Breeze. I have been using Earth Breeze Eco Sheets to do my laundry for well over a year. I love how compact and convenient their packaging is. They look like dryer sheets, but they are these ultra concentrated liquidless sheets that dissolve so easily in the wash. Typically, I'll just use one sheet. It dissolves so quickly in water. If I have a lot of tough stains, I'll use one and a half to two sheets. They tear right in half so easily. I also love to pre-treat my items. My Earth Breeze sheets did help to lift the stain on that Double D shirt. It came out really nice. Here is the final result. It's super faint. I was very excited about that. So I'll just dampen a little section and pull off a little piece and rub it right on. Earth Breeze sheets are dermatologist tested. They're hypoallergenic and they're gentle to your skin. These tiny sheets can eliminate millions of plastic jugs from entering our ecosystem. I had to read this stat over, but 500 million jugs end up in our landfills every year. Every year, it just blows my mind. You cannot beat the convenience of these eco sheets. They smell tremendous. I get the fresh scent, but you can also get unscented. What's best about Earth Breeze is it gets delivered right to your door. They have a flexible subscription and it always ships for free. Unfortunately, we're never gonna run out of laundry, but fortunately, we don't have to run out of our Earth Breeze because it can be delivered to you as frequently as you would like. I really think you should give it a try. If for any reason you're not happy and you want to go back to your old stuff, no need to even send it back. Earth Breeze will refund your money, no questions asked. You really can't lose. These are some of the pieces from today's haul and they look and smell beautiful. If you want to give Earth Breeze a try, go to earthbreeze.com slash Lori Tata to get started with 40% off. That's earthbreeze.com slash Lori Tata for 40% off off your subscription. Making a positive impact on the world doesn't have to come as a large cost to you. My clothes are clean, they smell great, and I feel like I did something good for the earth just by doing my laundry. Okay, so sadly, the aloe pants were gone. Am I surprised? No. Am I surprised that the newest tag, Ghani blouses were gone? No. I thought maybe because the Ghani blouses were just in the slew of black tops because Goodwill organizes according to color, that maybe there was a chance, but in my heart of hearts I knew but I had to go back to see anyways as you saw in the footage oh my goodness I'm so happy I went back and it's not because I went back and found those pieces but I found this Brunello Cuccinelli slip dress um, I've never found Brunello Cuccinelli what I don't know is if this is a dress dress or if it is just a slip or perhaps something that went under a dress. I'm being realistic here, but it is silk and it is gorgeous. This is made in Italy. It is a size small. It is 100% silk and 100% beautiful Brunello Cuccinelli. This was one of the first things I saw on a new rack. There was another woman who was scouring the rack, so I wasn't sure how picked over the new rack was, but I got to this and I was so thrilled and immediately I was like, okay, I'm okay if I don't find the aloe sweatpants or the Ghani, which of course I did not find. This was also on that rack. I think I grabbed this mostly for whatnot. I like to have Athleta and Lululemon in my whatnot shows. I don't know though, I haven't looked up comps. I'm expecting that the comps on this particular style is not that incredible. I believe it's from summer of 2022, which isn't bad. It's the newer tag from Athleta. It's a size medium. That was on the new rack as well for $5. This was the other thing on the new rack. This is a Quince 100% cashmere sweater, new with tag. 
Isn't this beautiful? I've talked about Quince here before. They are an online company that competes with companies like Jenny Kane in delivering sustainable, beautiful quality pieces like wool, cashmere, cotton in classic styles for a fraction of the price. But the resale value is also very good. I found a cardigan sweater from them, like a ribbed cardigan sweater that sold really quickly for like $35 to $45, I believe. But this is 100% cashmere and it's new with tag hoping to get around 40 or 50 for that as well. I also picked up this All Saints top, which was priced at $13.99, but I honestly don't think they charged me that. And I think, it, I think it was a mistake, to be honest. This is All Saints, which is one of those brands that can sit for a while, but I very rarely find All Saints with the logo on it. Let me know in the comments if you find this to be true. I usually find their knitwear. So I was just curious to see how this would do with the logo on it. Oh, I just noticed a broken button. Oh, now that is a bummer. That's a bummer. I mean, it will still button, but I didn't notice that. There was also a white one. I left the white one behind because it looked a little tired. I mean, I could have brightened it up, but I decided to leave that behind. Again, the Nike swoosh was on my mind. This was just a couple dollars, so I grabbed this sports bra. Super easy to photograph, and I really liked this color, and the size was good. Oh, I had my receipt from there. I only, ooh, my glasses are in this bag, bonus. I only spent $39. I feel like I might have had more half off colors than I thought. I got this for myself. It's an extra large from The Gap. I thought this might be cute for Easter, although Easter is really early this year, so it could be cool, but you know me, there's gonna be a black cardigan sweater <laughs> that goes over this, but at least I'd have some color. $7.99 for this dress. Maybe she only charged me like a tunic price for that, like a top. I thought this was lovely and I found a really nice comp on this sweater. This is by Anthropology. It is a cotton cashmere blend and it is a poncho. Again, I think this would be beautiful for Easter. Great little cotton cashmere poncho. It is a size medium large. Um, the comp that I saw was like in a bright turquoise. And you never know with Poshmark because if something sells in a bundle, just for your information, if you're looking up sold comps on Poshmark and you see a really high price, if something sells in a bundle, Poshmark shows the sold as the original listed price. If I have four items that are $25 and they go in a bundle and somebody sends me an offer for 60 bucks, that's 40% off, but it will show each of those items as sold as $25. So you can't always rely on Poshmark um, comps. So sometimes if something's questionable to me, I'll go to eBay because at least on eBay, it will say best offer accepted and it will have a line through the original price. It doesn't always tell you the best offer that was accepted, but you know that an offer was accepted on that. I, I hope that makes sense. I loved this dress. This is from the brand Tolani. I don't even know if I showed this in the video. It's just this really gorgeous, bohemian, tiered, embroidered, absolutely stunning summer dress. It is in an extra small, it's like new without tag. So pretty. The comps on this brand are kind of all over the place, but there was no way I was leaving without this dress. I just thought it was so gorgeous. It's got the little pom-poms here. Lumpy loves my Goodwill bags. He's in there hunting around. Oh, and then the last thing that I grabbed was this marine layer blouse. Marine layer is a little bit like Faraday where some of the pieces sit for a while. I just have adjusted what I'm asking for these pieces because I still really like the brand. This is a size medium, like a charcoal gray blouse. It has like this little ruffle detail on the shoulders. I thought it was really cute and it's an excellent, excellent condition. Probably like $25 to $30 for this, but I really do enjoy that brand. One more thing that I grabbed, and this was a yellow tag, so this had been around. Uh, it's a Title IX top and it was new with tag. This is the Solid Sun Buster Pullover, $59. This was $4.99, great for the upcoming season. I've historically done very well with Title IX, especially new with tag. I'm jumping in here because when I went out to the car, I realized I left one of the stars of the show and you saw it in the thrift with me and that is this Double D Ranch embroidered top. This does have a little stain. I'm definitely going to pre-treat it with my Earth Breeze and see if that does the trick. I've never found this brand before. I was so excited and I actually couldn't even see that it said Double D Ranch. I saw the D, but this is the 
tag. Because of the stain, they gave it to me for half off, so this cost just $2.50. Double D Ranch has been on my bucket list for so long. This totally feels like a Johnny Was shirt. It's got some stretch to it. It's probably an older piece. I was just so excited to find Double D Ranch and Brunello Cuccinelli in one visit. It blew my mind. Two bucket lists, one visit on a very spontaneous trip. So when I look at everything that I purchased, I missed out on the two Ghani shirts and the Alice sweats but when I went back what I found in their place was a silk Cuccinelli dress I got a double D ranch top and I got a new with tag cashmere piece and the title nine that was new with tag it was so worth going back I actually am much more passionate about the stuff that I picked up versus the stuff that I left behind so I guess the moral of the story is try not to beat yourself up we all make mistakes I was really disappointed in myself for missing those things it's hard to stay on top of trends all the time so just Give yourself some grace, and if you have the opportunity to go back and scour for more, do that. Take some time to learn about the current trends, or more importantly, look at your own closet and see what's selling in your closet. You know, if you have a category that's doing better than others, it's, it's probably a good thing to pay attention to that. It's not always about the trends, but this was a fun little adventure for me. Let me know which trip you thought was more successful the first day or the second day. The combination of the two days made for a very good haul. These items should be posted by the time this video goes live. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe. I will be back soon with a new video, probably one of my trend videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you, see you soon, bye-bye. We gotta get this fuzzy guy to the groomers, right? You are stinky and you need a bath. Say bye, say bye. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to give Earth Breeze a try, go to earthbreeze.com slash Lori Tata to get started with 40% off. That's earthbreeze.com slash Lori Tata for 40% off your subscription.